Hey friends, this is Grace. <laughs> She's uh, obviously super comfortable with being in front of the camera, which is why she asked me, she begged me. <laughs> Gosh, are you okay? <laughs> laugh, okay, don't touch me. She begged me to be in this YouTube video. Okay. <laughs> We're making a birthday cake. That's really why we're doing this. We're making a birthday cake and it's for our nephew who is really into wolves right now. So we're gonna make a wolf cake, chocolate cake. And we're using the high altitude friendly chocolate cake by Cake by Courtney, who is brilliant and it tastes really great. This is my go-to chocolate cake recipe. So I will link it in the bio um, so that you can make it too. But we're gonna get started, okay? It's kind of beautiful when it catches the sunlight. Yeah. So sparkly. Grace and I were just talking about how it is, she used to just like dump all the ingredients in at the same time. And the reason why that is really not good to do with cake is because once you combine wet and dry ingredients, it starts forming gluten. And so, when the gluten starts to develop, if you keep like kneading and kneading and kneading and kneading your layer of flour and all of your wet stuff together, then it makes your cake like super dense instead of like light and fluffy. So you have to be careful. There's lots of details in instructions and stuff with cake making that like seem kind of trivial, but then there's food science reasons for it. So it's good to pay attention. I think food science is so cool. I'd like to learn more about it. Oh, do you need me to hold you? Do you need a hug or you need a hold? Okay, I'll hold you. Hey, where'd your hair bow go? Don't know? Oh, you should go find it. You kind of have to pour a little bit more aggressively, I think. Just, yeah, just, there you go. Okay, so we have all of our cake layers made. We leveled them and tasted it and it tastes really good. So, so we've got this, this is a, like an eight inch round. It's just a cardboard base for the cake to sit on top of. And this is what we're gonna put our cake on and then when we need to move it, we'll, it'll have like the structure underneath it. And you can get these from like Walmart or you can order them online, whatever. Um, what I usually do is take a little dollop of buttercream and spread it out on the bottom to act kind of like a glue to the base layer. So we stack this. And then I have two different icings, icing knives. So we've got this one that's kind of angled. That's do it, this is for doing flat surfaces. And this one that's straight is for doing side. We also have our buttercream all done up and delightful. I'll link the recipe for this too. Got your buttercream here. Got your angled icing spatula, spoon, knife, whatever. Oh, hey, can I have that? Yeah, thank you. Take a little bit and plop it on the top. Probably about that much. And then you just kind of like Smooth it out. And you want to try and uh, try and keep the crumbs from getting all over your icing spoon because you don't want them to mix in with the rest of your frosting. And then you can do the next layer, okay? I'm just gonna show you this so that you can do the next one. So just use whatever amount of buttercream you think you need here. And I usually try not to make these like these layers like super thick. And then I try to just like flatten it so that it's not like you have a bunch of buttercream on one side and the other. And the best thing that you can do is kind of like get down like eye level like this. Down eye level. And just look and say, okay, yeah, that looks like pretty even, right? Okay. Again, be careful because it's super like fragile. fragile, but I'm gonna plop it down.
It's almost perfect, I think. The trick with this top piece is we have this part that's like the crumb that we cut from, and then the bottom is perfectly flat because that's where we baked it on. So we're gonna put the crumb on the icing, okay. crumb side down. Yep, and then flip, and then, but quicker, quicker. There you go, okay. And then adjust, there you go. The crumb coat. A crumb coat, so it means like you're only just putting enough on there to catch the crumbs so that when you put your final coat on, that the crumbs aren't showing okay. through your uh, frosting. And it's definitely not perfect, but that's our crumb coat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze this for five minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna color our buttercream. So Grace is working on getting our fondant pliable because it is very hard. This is just black fondant, um, Wilton fondant from Walmart, I believe, is where I got this. We're going to use this for our wolf outline and for some mountains. So the goal with this fondant is to make like that shape, the outline of a wolf to put on the top of the cake. I would recommend maybe pr printing, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> printing an outline. My printer is not working though. <laughs> So Grace is working on the wolf outlines. This just came out of the, did I say oven? I meant the freezer. <laughs> this just came out of the freezer. I'm gonna color this buttercream frosting and do kind of like a, um, a blue night sky gradient. I'll show you what I mean. It's kind of like an ombre. So let's use royal blue. Do you like those three colors? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Starting with this dark color and I'm going to add a line of it the bottom of the cake. Take your flat edge scraper. What you're gonna do is hold it like almost parallel, I would say like a 45 degree angle, right? From your cake. And you put your hand right here. And then as you pull, you like keep it level, as level as you can. Helps even out the color. Getting close. Should we leave the edge raw like this? You like that? Yeah, because it's like almost like mountain-y. Yeah, I kind of like the raw edge. Okay, so like right here on the side, there's this big bubble pocket right on the bottom. So I'm gonna take some of this and, and kind of like pile it in there a little bit. Okay. All right, what do you think? But I'm gonna go freeze this real quick again. So this is what Grace has been working on. These look so good. All right, Grace, you're up. Oh, no. Stick on, do it. Nice, look at that. That's gonna be so cute. Yeah, that is really cute. Oh, hey. How do you feel? You just made your first cake. I feel good about myself. <laughs> I, don't know. I think it looks good, yeah. It looks awesome. First time. Nice teamwork. <laughs>